Hi right, guys, welcome back to some more Star Wars Intro Worlds. We're going to do a quick guide on bounty hunting. And where to get the missions, uh, what to do with them. The little things I've noted while doing it. And just the basics. But first things first is that you're going to get an email at the start of your playthrough about finding the bounty hunter guild stations. That email is going to tell you about the Bounty Hunter Guild station in Mongaza, which is the main office for the Bounty Hunters. There are others dotted around the map. And they are their own faction. There will always be a wharf. And that is where you're going to go to get your guild missions. Again, there are a couple dotted around the map. You need to go out and find them. Uh, other than Mongaza, they're in slightly randomized positions, I would say. But yeah, now uh, you can go out and get them. That's where you're going to pick up your missions. So, to pick up these missions, you're going to want to dock up and head in and talk to the manager. In Mongaza, it's the manager, not the faction representative. In every other station, it's only going to have the manager as an option. I'm going to come in here and go to the mod section. It's going to give you the faction list. Basically with a bunch of missions for each faction. This will of course depend on who they're fighting and so on. So, going here you'll have small and medium targets and you'll have large and extra large targets. And you're going to be brought into this map menu for mission selection. You can see here there are 95 missions currently in this run for me from the Republic with varying activities on the ships and so on. These will change dependent on what they were involved with killing. As you can see then this uh, TIE fighter was involved in the killing of uh, one large ship therefore it has more of a bounty on it than this TIE fighter which was only involved in the killing of a small ship. But if you're looking to, you know, milk it a bit, you'll always find things with these are just going to build up over time. The TIE Defender here has been involved in a lot of fighting. There's a bounty oh, of yeah. 3.7 million. These are things to look out for. Also, these garrison ties and so on, and any, sorry, any, any garrison ship, they're obviously tied to a building, so they're going to be pretty easy to find. The patrols can move around a little bit. Like an intermediate trader is going to move around between a couple of systems. So you're going to have about three hours to find a target after you take the mission. So if you want to take this mission, hit accept. You can um, also go in here. It'll be tied into your standard missions if you open briefing. It'll give you all those details, but it'll also show you here. whereabouts that ship is quickly kind of shuffles through a bunch of things where you currently are I think it always jumps to Coruscant and then it'll jump to the area where that ship is missions are then going to show up here in your mission directory as normal so you've completed talking to the manager your next objective is to find the TIE Defender I need to go into my ship. We can get updated. So this TIE Defender is in PAX, which is somewhere we uh, often have fights. You'll get three satellites with reports. So nine minutes ago, this TIE Defender was reported in this area. These will update now and then. But they give you a general indication of where the ship has been. And uh, it can be pretty useful in finding your target. Once you get it within radar range, you'll have found the TIE Defender and generally you'll scan the TIE Defender and you'll just be given the, the option to destroy it. Once that's done, then this is kind of where you have to keep things in mind. 
we're doing this mission for the Republic. Once we finish this, we'll be going to talk to a Republic representative. So once you finish your mission by destroying your target, uh, we have finished the mission here. Keep that active. Um, generally, you'll have to go talk to a representative of the faction that you've taken the mission for. So regardless of where you've taken the mission, you can take it in Mongaza, you could take it up in this Bounty Hunter Hill station. If you're taking a mission for, we'll say the Ascendancy, you're going to have to go to Ascendancy space to hand in that mission, so it's something you want to be aware of. If I took a mission for the Empire down here, I would have to fly up to Empire space to hand it in. And uh, you'll see it marked on the map there. Go talk to that person. There are a couple of little things there that you want to keep in mind when you're doing bounty hunting. Doesn't matter where you take the mission. You go in, you decide which faction you want to take the mission for. That will give you a list of their enemies. And then once the mission is completed, you need to hand it in to that faction. So just to save yourself time or logistics or whatever, be wary of that. You don't want to be flying the whole way across the map to hand in one mission. There's not too much more to the bounty hunting. You do take a rep hit, of course, when you kill a target. You will get aggro, generally from their squadron or fleet that they're involved with. It's not a huge hit to reputation, and you will obviously gain reputation from the faction you take the mission for after completing it. So you can play around with the reputation and kind of bounce between factions. So you can get out there and uh, make money hunting down bounty. Have a good one. See you next time.